Hello good people, welcome back to Tindo, your one-stop YouTube channel where we bring you the latest news and analysis on the East African community. In today's video we shall be discussing about the East African Monetary Union, the common currency and its implementation progress. I invite you to weigh in your thoughts through the comment section below. The East African Monetary Union is a crucial step in the East African Community's regional integration process. Its protocol, which was adopted in line with the ESC Treaty and signed on November 30, 2013, sets the foundation for establishing a monetary union within 10 years. The community is set to launch a common currency by 2027, according to the Secretary General, Dr. Peter Mathuki. The move is part of the community's plan to create a borderless region for free movement and trade. The announcement was made during a retreat for all ESC staff at Monzoni Lodge in Machakos County, Kenya, where Mathuki also discussed the plans for the East African Monetary Institute and the benefits of a single regional currency. The East African Monetary Institute and Single Currency Mathuki stated that the Council of Ministers is ready to decide on the location of the East African Monetary Institute by the end of 2023. The institute will be the precursor to the East African Central Bank, which will issue the planned single currency. The Monetary Institute will allow the ESC to come up with a constitution that will create a roadmap for having one currency. This means that the power to issue national currency will be transferred from governments to the East African Monetary Union, a common institution. According to Mathuki, the single currency will ease business and the movement of persons within the region, making it borderless. This is in line with the ESC's goal to create a region where people can freely move and trade as envisioned in the Common Market Protocol. In addition, the common currency will eliminate the need for currency exchange and simplify trade transactions, making it easier and cheaper to do business in the region. Intraesi trade has increased, with the value of intraesi trade in 2022 standing at $10.17 billion, up from $7.1 billion in 2019, according to Mathuki. The elimination of non-tariff barriers has also contributed to the increase in intra-regional trade. Mathuki expressed hope that this and other factors would help raise the level of intra-regional trade in East Africa to at least 40% over the next five years. The announcement of a single currency by 2027 shows that the EAC is determined to move forward with its goal of creating a borderless region for free movement and trade. The East African Monetary Institute will be crucial in the formation of the East African Central Bank and the issuing of the common currency. The benefits of a single regional currency include ease of business and movement of persons within the region, making it a more attractive destination for investment. The increase in intra-regional trade is a positive sign that the EAC's plans are working and should be encouraged. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more segments about EAC like this.